everybody, and welcome to today's Stand Up for FPGA work at Open Research Institute. Uh, this is where we talk about what we've done over the past little bit, usually a week, and what we have planned over the next week, if we have any roadblocks and if we need any resources. Um, and there's plenty to talk about, about new, new gear. Um, we learned a lot from our uh, MATLAB class uh, because some some folks that have uh, experience at both analog devices and at, at MATLAB were able to come and talk to us about our uh, choices for system on chip. So since since we last met, we have now in the lab uh, some changes to both of the stations. Uh, so instead of the ZCU-106, we have a ZCU-102. This is very similar uh, development board from Xilinx. The big difference is that the uh, ZCU-106 has a uh, some some video capabilities that the ZCU-102 does not have. The ZCU-102 has a larger FPGA, uh, and it also is uh, has some native support for the radio card that's attached to it, which is the ADRV-9002. So that station is intended to support Neptune, which is a uh, open source protocol, point-to-point -point low latency link uh, intended for drones and aerospace, and that's led by Leonard. He can't be here today, uh, but he is uh, well informed of all of this and and um, and trying to help out uh, as best he can. Now we we haven't we've received the board we picked it up yesterday, um, and we we haven't swapped it out quite yet. It's going to need some some physical adjustments. So what we did with the ZCU-106 was actually attached it to a, to a metal plate. And the, um, the pattern, uh, standoff pattern is different for the 102 versus the 106. So that's work that we still have to do. And then we're going to bring uh, both of the both of these boards up in the in the lab, and then go ahead and compile the reference design from analog devices. We're hoping to use um, MATLAB and Simulink and all the SDR support and HDL coder with, with this station. The other station that's in parallel, the base board uh, from Xilinx, is a ZC706. This is a 7000 series uh, dev board. Um, the ones that we were just talking about for, for Neptune are UltraScale Plus uh, boards. So slightly different uh, line of, of uh, FPGAs from Xilinx. The ZC706 now has an ADRV 9009 attached to it instead of the 9371. Um, this we should see better support and better performance with with this. Uh, it's a, a more popular um, uh, radio chip SOC that got uh, more market share than the 9371 did. So 9371 and the 9009 both have a lot in common. They'll look pretty similar in terms of capability, um, but the 9009 has got a lot more take than the 9371. Both of them have a JESD 204B interface, high speed um, interface, and that's uh, that framework is very useful. And we will move forward and try to to get it working um, with uh, MATLAB and HDL Coder and Simulink. And so that's what we've been spending time of yesterday and today trying to do. What you need to do is build a SD card image for the uh, for the FPGA board and the ARM processor that's that's actually in the FPGA. Uh, so so that's what what we're we're trying to build is an operating system that that runs on the target. Uh, we're trying to build this on our virtual machine in the lab using a cross compiler and using the build script from MATLAB uh, from the repository, their build root repository. And we have some errors that we're not really sure what to do about. So we've asked for help on MATLAB forums and um, uh, Paul started looking at the, the script a little more closely based on the errors that we got. So that's where we are at as of uh, a few minutes ago. All right, so I'll, I'm going to turn it over to Paul to to correct and extend anything I've said. There I am. Um, nothing to correct. Um, there's definitely a lot of complicated stuff in layers in this build. The original construction that uses a set of tools called build root, 
And there's lots and lots of mechanism and configuration possible in Builder, but you're not supposed to have to worry about any of that stuff. You're not supposed to have to run the configurator or anything. You're supposed to just be able to tell it what supported configuration you're trying to use, and it does it. And it goes off the rails at some point, and I'm trying to help figure out why and where. It's it's uh, it's messy anyway. Um, we have physically installed the uh, the radio, the new radio on the old ZC seven hundred six. In order to install the uh, the new dev board, the ZC one hundred two, these numbers are hard to remember. Um, I have to do a little more physical construction, make make an aluminum sheet to to fix it down to so that the board is attached firmly and not in danger of getting torn off by cables and stuff like that. That'll be soon, but maybe not today. I don't know. Um, that's about all I have to say about that. Um, yeah, other news, some incremental progress is being made on opulent voice. We've got, um, and we're able to build a complete set now that actually works with the full protocol stack, although not fully implemented. At least it's being transported through the through the frame formats, uh, and that works in non real time very well, and is starting to work in real time. There's some performance problems with the res doing it on the Raspberry Pi which uh, surprises me a little bit and I'm hoping to track that down and get it working on that machine. But for the moment it works better on a higher powered processor, which is okay, I guess, for, especially for the uh, university of Puerto Rico scenario where they only need to transmit from the embedded device and can receive on a laptop. So that work progresses slowly. And maybe that's all I have to say. Well, it's plenty. <laughs> no, lots going on. Thank you so much. Okay, James, uh, you have the floor. Uh, thank you, Michelle. Not too much report from Lo from Remote Lab South recently. Been getting more work done generally, but not anything too in particular to report. No major roadblocks. Just checking in this week to see how everything's going with everybody else. Yeah, very good. Um, yeah, I think we're we're looking at uh, at. I mean, you could see that we're they're making some adjustments and some changes to the to the FP, FPGA stations. Um, so that may have some some impact on on your inventory. Uh, and then we talked briefly last week about identifying what to to go ahead and sell. Uh, so so we are coming up with a list of things to to go ahead and sell and possibly uh, put on the list for for forgetting for for remote lad south when it's when it's up and running um so yeah we'll 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 keep at that i think that we're we're looking at definitely uh putting the the trends t r e n z trends gear uh up for sale and we got a request to go ahead and hold the hold and keep the zcu 106 uh to to try and and get that to work later on because of the video hardware um so we'll see since i think i think that's what you have in remote lab south the zcu 106 so if you have one there then we we may want to let you go ahead and try to get that one uh, up and running and working with a compatible radio card or 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 to go ahead and support uh open source work there on that and then and then we keep our ZCU 102 here. Um, there are, however, some some distinct advantages for having the same gear at both places, uh, so that the configuration is is a little easier. But there also is an advantage to having some some variety across the labs. So we'll keep talking about that and and working towards uh, getting things up and running. And we're still looking forward to the uh, iWork or IWRC conference in September in in Little Rock. So that'll be a, a really nice, uh, nice, uh, nice visit, um, and we hopefully we'll get some plenty, plenty done in person, and uh, and 
that that'll be a, a, a really good a good meeting, good conference, a uh, good time. All right, that's what I got. Uh, all right, any other any other comments or questions before we close? Cool. Okay. So we should have uh, some some good news um, or updates coming coming really soon out of out of all the labs. And thank you very much to everybody out there that's been so supportive of the work. All right. See you all soon.